In this video, we'll introduce the concept of the slew angle. So you might recall that the skinning angle as it passes through these feature lines defines either a positive or a negative rotation kind of out of plane between the U direction and the W direction on the surface of your body here. So in this case, I've rotated this cross section a little bit to be a minus 15 about Y, and I've set the skinning on the top and the bottom so that those lines pass through at parallel angles here. So notice here that the top and bottom angles are opposite magnitude. So negative on the top, positive on the bottom. And what that does is it makes it so that it's nice and straight as this crosses through. Now what slew does, if we look here on the top, is it rotates this feature line about, say, the normal direction coming off of the surface. So positive rotation, if you follow the right-hand rule, would be going this direction. Negative goes the other direction. So negative, positive, negative, positive. Let's set that back to zero. And you might wonder when this is useful. If we look at the left-hand side here, we've kind of mocked up a, a very rough imaginary fuselage. And you can see that because I've rotated this section, this left-hand side having zero slew is being pushed down and then having to come back up to meet the left-hand side of its preceding section in the same way that it's kind of lofting up. And it looks like it's doing okay on this after cross-section. Well, let's come to the right-hand side. We're going to make this equal, and we're going to adjust the slew on this angle to correspond to, say, 15 degrees, similar to how we've done on the top and bottom. And notice now that this feature line is going from the left side to the left side exactly straight. And the reason that this really matters, if we come to a hidden view, look at how these surface panels are being interpolated between the surface lines. If we come back to zero here, Note how it's actually pushing these feature lines down toward the bottom of the aircraft. So if we center here and kind of pivot around, you can notice that there's this little bulge right here. It's like a little jowl. And we might not want that on our aircraft. So if we take this back to 15 again, notice how that has disappeared and it's lofting this feature line. Now you can also, if you choose, make it so that you have two different slew angles on either side of this cross section. So if you liked it having, say, zero angle on this side, you can make the slew angle discontinuous and let it go ahead and loft its way back up to this curve. But for right now, we can set both of those to 15 and let it pass cleanly through this rotated cross section. Now, slew is most useful when you have things like rotated cross sections or when you're using something like a general fuse or any type of cross section that lets you adjust the position of the maximum width. So in this case, I had it set down there. You can move it around or on the top. In this case, we had it somewhere in the neighborhood of say minus 0.5 or even minus 0.3. And you can see how changing the slew angle will change how this feature line passes through that point.